Cardiac arrest. We have a working fire. Whole traffic shots fired. Kevin, thank you so much for being on the show today. I wanted to talk to you about your book, uh, American Sirens. It is absolutely fascinating. It's one of the few books that I have ever bothered to read more than once. So would you mind telling me just a little bit about your background and, and how you came to uh, become an EMS and, and eventually go on to write multiple books? Yeah. So, um, you know, <laughs> the very short version of that story is, uh, nine 11. Um, after I got out of college, uh, I was working at a newspaper, um, you know, I was in my early twenties and, you know, I mean, I was enjoying it, but I, I wasn't really loving it necessarily. And then nine 11 happened and, you know, the world was shifting around all of us and history was being made. And, and, you know, I, I just felt like I was kind of sitting on the sidelines. I wasn't necessarily doing anything. I was just sort of observing. And I think in the wake of that, it's hard to remember now, you know, cause it was so long ago, but in the wake of that, we all, I think felt, um, you know, the sort of kinship with each other. And I just thought there's got to be some kind of way that I can, you know, serve in some sort of way. And I, you know, one night I was, I was sent to, uh, this, this tunnel collapse uh, by my editor and writing that story required me to kind of come in contact with the people who were on this high angle rescue team. And it was something about the way that they carried themselves, something about the way they operated, the way people you know, reacted to them that I thought this could be what I'm looking for. So I quit my job and went to EMT school. Um, eventually went to paramedic school, spent a decade on an ambulance, uh, working for Grady EMS here in Atlanta. And, you know, it was, it was a life changing experience to be in your early twenties and find yourself, you know, running these, these emergency calls and being, you know, brought into people's houses in these crazy moments and, you know, all the, all the madness, sure, but the, you know, there's, there are these quiet times too that you know are really kind of reflective and just not the sort of thing you expect to encounter as someone in your, uh, you know, in your early twenties. And it, it was a really a transformative part of my life. But you know, it, it is to a, to a degree a young person's game. It's a physical job. It's an outdoor job. Very much. So. Uh, and yeah, and so I got into my thirties, and I was like, man, I, I think I think I'm ready to, you know, I think I did this. I'm ready to move on. So as I got back into writing that decade just stuck with me. And, um, I don't know that I was consciously doing this, but when I finished, I realized that, that my first book, a thousand naked strangers, which is the memoir of my decade on an ambulance is really, you know, me kind of trying to figure out what it all meant to me. This is your host, Christopher. If you liked today's episode, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click the bell for notifications on future content. If you haven't already check out our website the ufcshow.com ways that you can support us and find us on other platforms until next time 